everyone. Welcome to week five of Grow Out Loud Family Music Hour. I'm glad you're here. This week, similar to last week, we're going to again do a very short warm up where we'll all just teach you two little things to warm up your voices um, and then we'll jump right into our song. And I say it every week, but I do think that we'll learn the song pretty quickly this week. Uh, so it should be a shorter video. Uh, for those of you who are interested in learning a little bit more about proper singing technique and some techniques to help you work through some vocal stuff, um, vocal troubles that you might have, I'm going to start releasing really short one-off videos and make a playlist on my channel of uh, actual technique work. So each video will be focused on one technique um, or one exercise and they'll be really short and I'll make a playlist of those so that you can scroll through them um, and I won't attach them to the videos anymore. Uh, some of you are just here to have fun and learn a song, so that's what these videos are for, and then I'll make it available for those of you who are wanting to learn a little extra. So, before we launch into this week's song, uh, just a reminder that this is a music lesson, so if you are able, please pay something for this music lesson so that I can continue to do this sort of thing uh, during this crazy lockdown quarantine time. Uh, and for those of you who feel that that's not a good financial decision for you right now, um, I do understand that it's a crazy time for a lot of people financially. So this is a free gift to you and your family if that is the case. Let's jump into our lesson. First up are the warm ups, and then we will do the song of the week. This week for our breathing warm up, I'm going to teach you something new. Should be really quick. Uh, it's a technique to learn how to start to feel and control breath pressure when you're taking your low belly breath, like we've talked about talked about before. And you feel your abdomen fill up. Your diaphragm is working to create all that space. Your rib cage is shifting out to make room. And then as you start singing or speaking, you can feel all of it start to go down and release and all that air is starting to come out your mechanism, your singer mechanism, everything up here uh, is working with that air coming out while you're singing. So this is an exercise to kind of work those muscles and make you very aware of when you're having intense breath pressure, the intense release of that air for your singing. It really helps for when we're singing something that needs quite a lot of support all singing needs support, but there are certain things like really high notes or maybe you're belting, uh, that needs a certain type of breath pressure to really help it function in a healthy way. So this exercise is called the exercise. Uh, I guess it kind of sounds like a long, breathy, drawn out uh, wheat, W-H-E-A-T, that word. <laughs> uh, it's not that word, it's really just a sound that we're making. Um, but I'm going to break it down for you so you can learn what the sound is and then uh, what it should feel like while you're doing the exercise and then we'll do it a couple times. So the first part of the sound is a So it's as if you're about to say It's, a, it's as if you're about to say anything that starts with a WH so like wheat the word wheat And you're starting to pressurize the air through that WH noise. And you should feel like your tongue is puckered, your mouth is puckered, air is very pressurized, coming from here to make that release happen. The second sound is a So like an H-E-E, -E, like a cat hissing. <laughs> uh, you should feel air escaping very small right through the, your teeth. You should feel a little bit of pressure of your tongue behind your teeth. So putting those two together. And then to finish the sound, we have a very aspirated T. So, T. And that's a little different than T. Uh, than t, t. That's a T-U-H sound and the air is going back inside my mouth instead of really escaping out. So we want a T-I-H sound. T, t. As if you're making the sound of um, the symbol on a drum, that sound. So all together it sounds like So try that with me, ready? Yeah, that's the sound. It takes practice. I have 
several students that it takes them a while before they really get that sound. So maybe you want to pause here and practice it. Um, but for those of you who feel like you got it, what should be happening in this exercise, we'll do it four times in a row, is that each time before you make the sound, you should be taking a good low breath. And then as you make the sound, everything should quickly and squeeze back towards your spine like this. And then immediately you should puff back out and get some air to prepare for the next one. So all four together should look like this. We'll do it twice in a row. So first you can watch. Okay, that's what it should look like four times in a row. You can see I breathe between each one, make sure to fill up. Naturally, at the end of it, you should be really out of air. You should be wringing out your air during the sound. Uh, and you should feel all that breath pressure happening and escaping through your mouth. So let's do it together. Here we go. Four beats. Here we go. And next, we're going to do something to warm up your voices with some vowels. All right, guys. So now we're going to warm up our voices. Um, we're going to do a pretty simple exercise. I think it's simple. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Where we're going to voice E and A, ah, those two vowels together in one exercise. Um, actually, this one might be a little hard for some people because we're going to do an octave, um, uh, a full arpeggiated octave. So it's going to sound like this. We're going to put E and on that. So we're going to start with the E's. That part will be E. The top note will switch to A. Ah. We'll hold that out a little longer and then we'll come down on A ah as well. So it's going to sound like this. We put a little Z to start that E sound just to get us to a really bright E. Z. start in the low part of my voice because we're gonna go up a little higher than normal today because these are full octaves so for a lot of girls you might feel a shift you might feel like you're singing in your chest voice and you're singing in more of a soprano -y head voice that's what it is for me so again you can hear the transition in my voice for sure all right and for if going a little higher and I wasn't transitioning it would sound like Z all right let's take some some breath control here so make sure to fill up your low belly breath right before we start the exercise and as you're singing you'll feel it slowly come back towards your spine and that breath pressure is going to help you sing the whole exercise so every vowel should feel connected and it should also feel like there's lots of air holding it up underneath it. All right, let's give it a try. Here we go. Z Feel that transition happen. Z For some of you, that might be a pretty high note 
So um, I hope that went well. Go back and review that for yourself if you want or if your voice doesn't feel quite warm. Another exercise that we've done several weeks in a row to warm up our voices nice and easily is that lip trill. So if anyone feels like doing it, here's a good one to do before we start singing. this time because we have done it several times. So for those of you who maybe haven't um, been to these videos before, you can go back and learn a little bit about how we do this one properly. Um, all right, that's the end of warm-ups. Nice and quick. And now we're going to get to our song of the week, which is What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. Enjoy. This is such a great song. It's one of my favorites. I picked it because there's parts of the song you'll see in the text. Um, and if you haven't already, there should have been a little note before this video started, but um, go ahead and download the text sheet this week so you can follow along either on a separate device or print it. Um, you'll see in the text that there's parts about walking around and friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? I just picked it this week because I feel a little nostalgic for the times when we're actually allowed to be around other people. <laughs> um, most days I don't feel too sad about it, but it's a sad time where we're separate from each other. And so this song makes me really happy and gives me all those warm, fuzzy feelings. It's pretty short. The melody is simple. I think, I say this every week, I think we're going to learn this one pretty fast today. Um, okay. So, I'm going to start with the main melody, and as always, I'm going to sing it for you first, so you know how it goes, and then I'll teach it to you. I see trees of green, red roses too, I see them bloom for me and you, and I What a wonderful world. So that's the main melody. And the only difference on other times when we sing that main melody is that sometimes you get a, at the end of the phrase, what a wonderful, instead of going world, you'll say, what a wonderful world. That is the only difference. Uh, so here is the melody and we're going to hum it together. Um, if you want, you can listen first and rewind and do it with me. sure you've got those notes. I'll point out that a lot of the notes, they just repeated right? There's a lot of repeated notes in here. So be aware that that's happening. If you get confused, like why are we staying in the same place? That's why. Lots of repeated notes. So go ahead and do that and then we'll move on um, to making sure we know the rhythm and then we'll um, put it on law and put it on words. So the big beat is a little more difficult in this song. You're gonna feel it in a very slow two. But um, what's difficult about it is, this is a pretty jazzy song, so you're going to sense that there's a little bit of leeway to the rhythm occasionally. Um, I'll try to keep it straight, but the original has it too if you go and listen to Louis Armstrong doing this song, which you should, it's great. Um, so, the big beat, it's about this fast, so it's pretty slow, and we're fitting those words in. Here we go. I see trees 
of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And then you have two more beats before you come into the next thing. I see the skies. All right, so that's the big beat. Again, go ahead and rewind this for yourself if you feel like you need to do that again. Um, but it's like a, it's like Louis Armstrong is walking in a park and we're just stepping along with him. I see trees of green. Do you imagine that? I do. It's a good image for the song. All right. So although it's not a difficult rhythm, um, there's a little bit of slidiness in here because of the jazz. Uh, if you need to go back and listen, do so now. We're going to move on um, to putting law before the words. Okay, guys. So when we do law, um, I explain probably every time, but we do law because sometimes jumping right into the text of the song when we just learned the melody can feel a little much. So law is building our confidence, especially vocally. So I want you to pay attention to some vocal things as you're singing, um, as you're singing law in this section, where you feel like you might need to take an extra breath because the phrase is long, or where the note feels a little high, so maybe you need to shift into a more um, headspace, really a vibrant, um, this is all singer talk, you probably don't know what I'm saying, but um, anyway, there's some sections here that are great to pay attention to, especially your breath. La 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 la, la 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 la. So la is just a good vehicle to get us to where we need to be with our words. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that now.
And then you would go into the final melody, the last verse. And then we'd finish with the song with a little tagline. So that's that section. Um, I guess I could call it a bridge. Um, this song is a different kind of structure than we've done before. It's pretty much one main melody with that bridge melody all in between. So let's go ahead and hum. And again, this is a lot of the same note. So just so you're aware, it's almost like we're speaking. So I'm going to hum. If you feel confident and you want to jump in now, great, do that. And if you're not ready, go ahead and listen this first time, then rewind and hum it for yourself. Here we go. Do that now, and then we'll go on to um, making sure you have the beat. So the big beat doesn't change throughout this song. I just want to make sure that you can feel it with this new melody. That's basically all we're doing. Nothing is really all that different. We're just fitting the different words into that space of big two. So the colors of the rainbow. So pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. And you can see that those come on the big beat. I love you. All right. So if you're feeling confident, uh, go back and do that once for yourself. But if you need more time, do it a couple times. That's all good. Okay. So for those of you who are ready, after the, learning the big beat, we are going to go ahead and put la to it next. I feel like we're breezing right through this song. I hope you're all with me. <laughs> We are now going to put la to this section. Again, la, just building our confidence. So pay attention to what's happening with your breathing. Pay attention to what's happening with your voice in different registers, which means different areas of your voice, low, middle, high. It's good to pay attention while we're doing it on a nonsense word, okay? Then we can add it or apply it to when we put the words in. Here we go. One, two. La 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 right into, I hear babies cry, and that would be the last verse. Good job. Now we're going to go ahead, put the words to it, and then we're pretty much done learning this song. Okay, guys, so we are going to go ahead and put the words to that bridge section. Here we go. One, two. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? We have verse one, which you already learned. Verse two, same melody, except for that final note on the word world. It goes down instead of up. And then we have the bridge. 
And then we have that last verse, which is the exact same as the beginning, and then we just have a tag, which is the same melody as all of it, too. We're pretty much there. All right, that's up next. So you guys, we have learned all of the melody and all of the rhythm that we need to know. Now we just need to put it all together. So I'm not going to go through the other verses uh, and sing them through with you because it's the same melody for all of them, but I will point out these subtle differences. So verse one, you learned that. And at the end of verse one, you have, what a wonderful world. And it goes up. So you can draw a little arrow on your music if you have it printed going up, which means uh, that's the one difference there between the next verse, and then you're going to hear the transition chords, and then you can go into verse two, I see skies of blue, go through that verse, then the very end, what a wonderful world, and we're going down in pitch, and then the transition chords are, the colors of the rainbow, and then we're in the bridge, going through, I love you, I hear babies cry, we're into that final um, verse, go to the very bottom, and I think to myself, oh sorry, what a wonderful world, this one goes up again, so make a little note for yourself, and then we close the piece with this, Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And that one goes back down. So I guess the yes, I think to myself is slightly a different melody. So I'll sing it again for you. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Okay? ready to put the whole thing together. So let's quickly review the order. I see trees of green, verse one. At the end of that verse is what a wonderful world, pitch going up, chord, chord. I see skies of blue, that verse, go to the end. What a wonderful world, going down in pitch, chord, chord. The colors of the rainbow, all through the bridge, up to the bottom. I love you, no transition chords. I hear babies cry, watch them grow. That whole verse down at the bottom. What a wonderful world. Going up in pitch, going straight into, yes, I think to myself. What a wonderful world, going down in pitch. All right, let's sing the whole thing together. All right, here we go. Whole song together, What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. I'm going to give you two chords to bring us in, and then we're on our way. First verse. Here we go. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me.
Great job, guys, learning this song this week. I had so much fun. I hope you did, too. As always, I'd like to wish you and your family having a great week together. And always spread the joy of music no matter where you go. Share this song with friends. Have a great week, guys, and see you next time.